matters for the next generation, no? Yeah, that's why I'm trying if to build present. If you live present. in the present, then you will, not, give... you will not create a fucked up future. That's the point, though, you know? New video, uh, we in Nepal. Um, I'm here to actually fix a new visa so I can get back to India. I'm going to do some interesting videos that are coming up. Today we're actually going to uh, Namo Buddha Temple. I'm going to try to talk with some monks or some Buddhism humans around there. I think they have like a great philosophy of life. And uh, meanwhile, you can actually check if you do not follow on Instagram. You can see this video I made and let's get there. Always with you, it cannot be done. Do you nothing that I say? Master, moving stones around is one thing. This is totally different. No, no different. Only different in your mind. You must unlearn what you have learned. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke, it is written, the kingdom of God is within man. Not one man, nor a group of men, but in all men, in you, you the people have the power. The power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life... Oh. Yeah, I had to sleep. I actually tried to... Yesterday it was a mm, little bit late for this guy to... Is it good now? It was a little bit late to actually... Do the talk with this with this uh, Buddhist or, or monk? I don't know what he prefer uh, to ask him this question. So I, I slept there. It was really nice, but also I don't know, many times it's hard for me, like doing these things. I guess. <sighs> I think like we we are like shaped in a way differently, a little bit from what we are here to do as a human species when we live like we do. But I'm gonna go to up here now, talk with this Buddhist or monk, whatever you prefer. And uh, I think it's gonna be nice. Okay. I, I was just filming your walk, like I was just saying something. So. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. Thank you for yeah, giving time to sure, sure. talk. Sure, it's my pleasure. Yeah, it's a beautiful place, this Namo Buddha. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah. Namo Buddha. Actually, Namo Buddha is a Sanskrit word. Like Namo, Namo means like a prostration. Buddha means two Buddha. So th that's when I should have like a, someone who film for me because it's not easy sure, to. Okay, yeah. But yeah, I. I you want me to? Ah, uh, yeah. No. Or it's okay. So I, I, I talked with you a little bit yesterday, eh? mm -hmm. and um, so I, I spoke with you about kind of an, an way of life that I support for humans, where we. Oh, I can just ask you like this: Do you think um, humanity in any time in our uh, lifetime? Uh, um, as an humanity, that uh, we will come to a place where we actually just have the the will to help each other without the need of getting anything back. I think uh, <clears throat> I wouldn't say that is impossible, but it is hardly possible to have that kind of environment. Like as a human nature, uh, we have a little bit uh, self, you know, importance. So we have when we have uh, that feeling, then we will give a more priority to self, ourselves. Mm. So whenever we do something, we will do for the benefit. It's the nature of the human being, I think, mostly. But if, if you, <clears throat> there are a few people, might be possible, like who will help others without expecting 
anything in return. But 100%, if you really want to have uh, that kind of society, that kind of people everywhere, I don't think that is possible. But at the same time, I would say, I wouldn't say it is impossible. It might be possible, like uh, if everyone people try to be a selfless, you know, self, self, selfless. I think I don't know whether no, if they're not selfish. Yeah, not selfish. Hundred yeah. percent not selfish. Yeah. Like in our Buddhism, there's a few person who is uh, who have a bodhicitta, and bodhicitta, uh, bodhicitta means like. Uh, the one who has a feeling of 100% helping others, not for thinking one person to self, you know, 100% ready to help others. You can also take the example the, at this place, the, the previous life of the Siddharth Gautam, uh, sacrifice his body in order to save hungry tigers. Mm. So this, we can take this as an example. Like there are few people who can who is, you know, uh, always willing to help others, yeah. not thinking even one person for self. Mm. So this is called, this, if that, uh, feel, that kind of motivation and feeling, those who have this one, we say like uh, bodhisattva. In Tibetan, we say changju sema, yeah, bodhicitta. So if all the people have uh, that kind of feeling, then I think there is a possibility of, you know, uh, the one you are expecting, like uh, everyone help other without expecting any other, but I don't think it is uh, possible at this time, you know, yeah. At this time, I, I do understand. More, more I also think time. it's like a long run, uh, I think that will take a long time, because, yeah, we, because course, we also, yeah. many humans, they don't have kind of, uh, they are also, to help others, they are busy helping themselves. They have to pay rent. They have. Yeah, yeah. We are all in yeah. in a system where we, yeah. we're not set up to work like yeah. that system. I'm kind of talking about. You know? So yeah, I think. Yeah, maybe or after a long time, maybe. No? Yeah, it it's, it needs in the needs future. I I, like people should learn about the Buddhists, you know, so that I think there is a possibility of having that kind of environment because in Buddhism we are always taught about those kind of things like, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, right from the beginning of the right. children if we uh, uh, teach them Basically, about, you know, those kind of positive things then good. I think there might be a possible. Education is a big key to make this yeah, also yeah, yes, happen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. So uh, if, we, if we can educate it in that way, right from the ch child age, mm. then I think there is a possibility of having that kind of environment, I think. Mm. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, yeah. otherwise... Hardly. Hardly, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't say it is impossible, but it is really hard to be possible. From the state that we are in today, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Yeah. Buddhism is different than the other major world religious traditions because it is not oriented around God, but oriented around man. And what Buddha taught is that we create our own suffering and the path out of suffering lies with us. We can alleviate suffering by changing our perception of ourselves and our world. Buddha taught that we suffer because we crave, because we're focused on ego, and because we assume things are permanent when they're actually impermanent. And for Buddha, the way not to suffer is to recognize that everything is impermanent, even ourselves, and to recognize the transitory nature of all things. And once we do that, then we can achieve nirvana.